my dear friend, Minister Tongjic, my dear friend, the Rector of Zagreb University, and my dear friend, the President of the Chamber of Commerce, and my dear friend of the Agency for Trade Promotion, and my dear friends from the Confucius Institute. It is a great honor for me to, to join you for this great seminar, which is organized by the Confucius Institute, uh, collab collaboratively with the Chamber of Commerce of Croatia. So this is part of the topic, how to do business with China. The answer is from Confucius Institute. To learn the Chinese culture, learn some Chinese language, to learn the Chinese business climate, and then you will be a successful business people in China. Of course, talking about to do business in China, to do business with the Chinese business people, is one of the most hated topics of the world because people are now de uh, uh, developing their relations with China, mostly in the area of economic and trade. Of course, the world economy is close connected with the Chinese economy, and Chinese economy is part of the world economy in the time of globalization. So I fully agree with the Honorable Minister that the accession of Croatia into European Union by the 1st of July will open a new chapter of the history of Croatia, and I believe that will also be a new starting point of our bilateral relations to be set against the background of the EU accession and the EU membership. And I, I am sure the advantage of Croatia in terms of the uh, 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 in terms of its geographical location as the advantage of the uh, gateway to Europe from Asia, the most accessible gateway to Europe, to the heart of Europe, will be fully recognized and these great potentials will be fully tapped. I believe all the Chinese smart people would know the advantage of Croatia, would know what Croatia would, would mean to China in terms of uh, trade and economic relations with Europe. And Today, Euro European Union as a whole is the number one trade partner with China. Croatia will soon be part of that. You will soon be among the top list of the trade partners with China. But uh, anyway, we are talking about investment from China. I should also emphasize that Croatia is always a great attractive place to Chinese investors. As the minister shared with me some of the information that we have increasing interest of the investment in Croatia because you have many very good projects to present to the Chinese. And I, as the ambassador here, I'm also encouraging my government, my business people, to have the courage to come to Croatia, to come to Europe through Croatia, because we have all reasons to believe Croatia will have a much greater role to play in the future in terms of the Sino-European relations. And on the, on the other hand, I would also like to encourage our Croatian business people to go to China, because you know, China is still witnessing a relatively high growth rate, about 7%, which is not so fast as some previous ago, but still it's one of the fastest growing economy. And also, what is more important, China is in the process of very fast urbanization. That means we're going to have most people living in the cities with an increasing consumer power or purchasing power. And you know we have 1.3 billion people Half of them belong to the middle income class. You could imagine how much they can buy, how much we need to import from the world. Of course, China is now the number one exporter, number two importer. I believe we will soon be the number one importer because we have the huge market, huge potentials. Only a couple of days ago, a Croatian Chinese from Israel inaugurated a good idea and started this project. They call that Croatian Pavilion in the city of Ningbo. They, that is a showcase and display of Croatian products, Croatian special products, and also a, for, uh, a platform for doing business with China. And uh, this pavilion is becoming more and more attractive. Of course, at, today the Chinese know Croatia about the wine, about the olive oil. And since I'm here, I know Croatia has much more to offer to Chinese market rather than olive oil and wine. So I encourage our business people in Croatia to go to China, to develop the, your Chinese market, and to provide your best goods to the Chinese consumers. I wish that this seminar will be fruitful, will be su su successful, and I hope they will not be the last one. There will be more seminars like this to follow. I also hope that next seminar can be jointly 
organized with the Chinese business people. We can have more Croatian business people and Chinese business people to discuss face to face, to have more opportunities to reach agreement, to have cooperation. I promise Croatia is a great partner, great friend to the Chinese government and to the Chinese people. This friendship, this relationship will continue, will grow, will bear more fruits. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for your very uh, encouraging speech and uh, giving us some advice what we have to do. Thank you once again.